What would it be like to be a career strategist? You know, somebody who lines up the perfect jobs for others. Well, you're in luck. I have a great guest on today who's gonna break it all down for us. She's an accomplished author. She works with clients from all over the world helping serve these needs. And I think in the course of this conversation or the, showing you the highlights of the conversation, you're gonna get a better idea whether or not this could be something for you. My name is Christopher Schoenwald, podcaster, entrepreneur, educator, coming at you from the land of the rising sun, Japan. And yeah, like I said, I've got this great guest lined up today, career strategist. Her name is Trisha Sidemir, and she works, as I said, with a bunch of clients from around the world. She's quite accomplished in what she does, and she breaks down several aspects of this line of work. I mean, one of the things that we get into, obviously, are, you know, what the jobs are available, what are some of the roles and responsibilities. We also get in to personality traits, you know, what's helpful for being a career strategist. Beyond that, we get into some of the rewards. We look at also some of the insights that Trisha shares with us as far as what holds people back. Like what are some of the big obstacles that get in the way of people landing these dream jobs? So we're going to break it all down for you in this episode. So let's get into it. All right, so I figured the best way to launch into this is have Trisha break down the job, you know, roles and responsibilities. So this is what she had to say. The emotional piece and the support piece, the encouragement piece and, mm. you know, motivational piece would be something that, you know, you see it in the job description and it's like, yeah, they provide me support, but, you know, going through it with an actual client and kind of seeing them on their journey the support piece is is a big part of it yeah. you know it's two parts we have the the support piece the kind of that gentle push kind of keeping you going and then you have more of the the tactical piece which is mm -hmm. you know is your resume good are you doing well in interviews how are you responding what does your job search look like um so I, I would say you know that's kind of what the split looks like from there Monday is typically my admin day, my research day, my day to, you know, uh, respond to emails. If I'm going to be, you know, if I have any speaking engagements, any podcasts or anything like that coming up, I will do all of that stuff on Monday, Tuesdays, you know, I, I have my YouTube channel. So I put out different content or I write different guides, trainings. I'll usually knock that stuff out on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday is usually when I do my client prep because I take clients on Thursdays and Fridays. So okay. if it is you know, tightening up resumes, making sure that, you know, I'm all set and good to go with any clients that I have. Um, and then, like I said, Thursday and Friday is typically when I, I have most of my, my clients and I'll usually end with my end of the week recap where I look at like all of my, like my business analytics and look at the numbers and the data, yeah. see what that's saying. So I hope that gives you a good idea about the job itself, but also too, I had this question about what goes into being a great career strategist, for example, from a personality standpoint. So here's a question that I asked and uh, Trisha shares some great insights on that. In terms of your personality, you, what elements would you say now were probably a great fit for this line of work, you know, and what you do and how you serve people? Yeah, that is a very good question. <laughs> and I always <laughs> joke because when I was growing up, the only thing that I would get in trouble for in school was talking too much. <laughs> okay. And now you have free license to talk. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Um, <laughs> so I would say that's definitely. <laughs> been a good fit. Um, and, you know, I would say I'm a very warm person. I'm a caring person. Um, and that has also served very well in yeah. coaching. You know, um, I don't think that I've had any two clients that are exactly the same. And so my ability to empathize and to listen and understand, you know, who they are as people yeah. and who they want to be, what kind of career that they're looking for um, without, you know, kind of imposing what I think they could be great at right. or, 
you know, what it should look like because of X, Y, Z or societal norms. Um, I, I would say that I, I do a pretty good job of just kind of sitting back and like doing that listening, because that's how we're going to be able to work better together and, you know, yeah. uncover some of those hidden gems to be able to really create a roadmap that one, I can help support them through, um, but two, that they feel comfortable, you know, in taking those steps because, it is a consistency and a commitment thing. And so mm. I always want to make sure that I'm setting them up for, for success. Now, here's another question I had, and it's centered on this notion of what are the major roadblocks for people when they're trying to land these great jobs? In other words, like I wanted to find out if you were a career strategist, what are you sinking yourself into exactly? Like, how are you specifically helping these people? And this is what Trisha had to say. Lack of confidence, uh, lack of clarity, um, I would say lack of clarity is probably a bigger one, um, mm. followed by lack of confidence, um, not understanding or, or being aware of what your areas of opportunity are, which I think would tie back to clarity. And to dig a little bit deeper for you, this is what I followed up with. Okay, well, how do you go about circumventing those issues or, or helping others, you know, with that issue of clarity? Maybe you could give some concrete examples really quickly. Yeah, you know, I think the way that um, I approach it each and every time is, like I mentioned just a minute ago, that there there takes that listening and that understanding um, and just kind of letting someone almost word vomit it all out and get all of the puzzle pieces <laughs> out on the table. And then we yeah. can start kind of crafting a plan from there. And here's a question that I love asking guests on Life As Us. One of the best ones, I think. It's about the rewards of the work. I think you can really get a good feel of what the job offers, not from the nuts and bolts perspectives per se, but what it does for you and what it does for you as a person. And ultimately, I mean, if you're going to be sinking yourself into a profession for 20, 30, 40 years, yeah, you kind of want to know what some of those rewards could be for you. So here's Trisha breaking that side of it all down. You know, it must be wholly rewarding to see somebody that you've worked with coming in, maybe having some rough ideas of where they'd like to take their career or their, their, their dream job or where they'd like to end up and you working with them, holding their hand through this process and actually seeing them hit that, you know, hit that milestone. What is that like for you? I mean, I'm, I'd imagine like that is what you're doing it for, right? It, is that, yeah. but yeah, let, let's hear from you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. My, my cheeks are warm. Just kind of <laughs> thinking about it. It really is the most, wonderful thing you know i i love to see my clients win and those wins could look different sometimes it's landing a job sometimes it's like oh my gosh i finally figured out the direction that i want to go into and they're excited and then to see them you know making those strides and seeing the traction and then seeing them continue to grow in your career I've been a coach now for about five years. And so some of my OG clients, you know, I see where they are and like, I just, I beam, I'm so proud of them. I continue to celebrate and champion them whenever I can. It is extremely rewarding and one of my very favorite things about the job. All right. Well, I hope that gives you a good idea of what life as a career strategist would be like. But don't forget, I mean, this is just a video compilation, the highlights of the full length conversation that I had with Trisha, which is available wherever you access your podcast. Just be sure to search life as a dot dot. And while I've got your attention here, before I do sign off, I mean, I really, really would encourage you to hit that like or subscribe button. Take that millisecond. I mean, YouTube itself requires that to, to know whether or not these videos mean anything. And, you know, maybe I'm biased here, but I think this content matters. You know, it matters for people as far as making major decisions in their life. So if we can get this out in front of more people, you know, all the better. So again, please hit that subscribe or like button. And until next time, you know, I look forward to bringing the next guest in front of you so you can decide whether or not that career could be for you. All right, I'll check you then. See ya.